nje yamfashe yaramfashe anjyana mu nzu atireka ngushire muri porafu ariko no mugabo wange yarabizi tukajya tumushira ibiryo tukajyana n'indobo yo kwituma numvaga mbufite ariko nkikomeza kuko barambaza ngo bati nta muntu nta muntu ni charaga ndahari ndi mu muhango ari ko Rwanda is a very poor country, one of the smallest countries in the world. Just under 10 million people live in Rwanda, making it one of the most populated countries in Africa. 180,000 to 200,000 people in Rwanda are living with HIV today. The HIV disease affects humans for their entire life. It attacks important cells in your body. Humans with HIV systems suffer from fever, fatigue, weight loss, and others. It is very hard on the human body. In Rwanda, 3,600 to 5,600 people have died due to the disease. Among all these people, there are two groups in Africa, one being the Hutus and the Tutsis. Tutsis suffered brutally due to the Hutus. The death of Rwandan President Paul Kagame sparked the start of the genocide. The deep hatred between the Tutsis and the Hutus had nothing to do with religion or language. It was a political power struggle. The Tutsis did not want to become a democratic nation, but Hutsis, which are 85% of the population, did. This would not benefit the Tutsis because they are a lesser population. Therefore, wouldn't have representatives from their tribe in the government because of the majority vote. Belgium and Germany destroyed the relationship by enforcing a class system in which the Tutsis were favored over the Hutus, and this angered the Hutus. Belgium used the Tutsis to enforce their rule over Rwanda. Hatred led to the genocide, which is considered one of the darkest events in African history. The sad thing is, the genocide could have been stopped sooner if the rest of the world had put in more energy and effort. Many countries initially tried to help but many withdrew their troops after the brutal massacre of 10 Belgian peacekeepers and the Rwandan Prime Minister. By mid-May of 1994, around half a million Rwandans have been killed. It was almost as if the rest of the world was pretending nothing was going on. It was later on said that President Bill Clinton regretted not contributing more to helping Rwanda end its genocide. It wasn't until later on that people started to help Rwandans. On June 22nd, Operation Turquoise, a French-led humanitarian mission, saved hundreds of civilians in southwest Rwanda. That mission was the beginning of the end of the genocide. But in other areas, killings continued until July 4th, 1994, when the RPF took military control of the entire territory of Rwanda. In 1994, the genocide ended, and recent reports are showing that around 2 million Rwandans survived. Check out this clip of Rwandan survivors telling their stories of how they stayed alive. <laughs> Today in Rwanda, it's hard to tell that just 20 years ago, a mass genocide hit the country. Although it looks like Rwanda has completely cleaned up its act, the people of Rwanda have very little 
political freedom, and there is very elusive democracy in the country. It looks like Rwanda is moving forwards into the future, but there is still lingering tension left behind from 20 years ago.